you today. I hope that you are doing fine and you are enjoying doing your activities while studying at home. This is me again, Teacher Marife, your Science for Teacher. Always eager and excited to be with you in your science journey. Are you ready for today's journey? Do you have your self-learning mojo? I am an involvement. If all are set and ready, come on, let's start our learning adventure. Module 3, Plantastic, Plant Adaptation. At the end of this module, you should be able to name specialized structure of terrestrial and aquatic plants and explain the benefits of specialized structure of terrestrial and aquatic plants. For our review, tell what body part of the following animals they use for getting food, body covering, and breathing. Right, frogs have elongated tongue for getting food, skin for body covering, and lungs for breathing. That's right, bird uses beak for getting food, feather for body covering, and lungs for breathing. Fish uses their mouth for getting food, having skin or scales for body covering, and gills for breathing. Right, lizard uses their mouth for getting food, having scales or skin for body covering, and lungs for breathing. Now, let us proceed to Activity 1. Observe the following terrestrial plants and identify their specialized structures. Observe the squash. It grows long stems that climbs. Hairy stems and leaves are for protections against animals. Lemon grass have pointed sharp leaf blades for protection. Potato stem is inside the ground, which has a thick stem to store food. Banana has big waxy leaves to prevent loss of water and capture sunlight. Pineapple have darts and spines to protect the sweet inside from insects and animals. Cactus have sharp spines for protection and cubicle stem to store water. Carrot stop roots are long to hold the stem and adapt in cold weather. Terrestrial plants are plants that live in land. They grow on soil in places like farms, forests, mountains, gardens, and even in parks. Some plants have big trunks while the others have soft and fleshy stems. They use their body parts to survive in their habitat. Activity 2. Identify the specialized structure of aquatic plants. The leaves of water lily are wide, thick, and buoyant. These structures help them float in water. Lotus plants float in the water because of their flat and broad leaves. Tiny hair on the roots and leaves enable the water lettuce to float, making sure that it does not join in its watery environment. Leaf stalks of water hyacinth have air-filled tissues to make it float. They have long roots which enable them to reach the soil underwater. Aquatic plants are plants that grow in rivers, ponds, and under the seas. These plants are the sources of foods and oxygens of animals living in the water. Most plants that live in water are soft, hollow stems and light roots. Some have wide, smooth, and shiny leaves that let them float in water. Observe carefully the pictures of Euphobia and Rose. Both have thorns to protect them from animals. Ampalaya and grapes are both vines. They grow long stems and climbs on trellis to protect their fruits. Lotus and water lily floats in water. The leaves of water lily are wide and thick, while the lotus leaves are flat and broad. That structures help them float in water. Specialized structure of plants are important to adapt to their environment. 
thorns and hairs are some of the specialized structures of plants. Not all plants have thorns and hairs. Thorns and hairs protect the plants from animals. Roots are used to absorb water and minerals from the soil. Smooth, soft, and fleshy stem can hold enough water. Tendrils, which are thread-like shaped, are used by climbing plants for support, attachment and cellular invasion for paralytic plants. Now to check your understanding, write the letter of the correct answer. This plant climbed in a trellis. A. Bitter gourd B. Hyacinth C. Banana or D. Cactus 2. It has fleshy stems to conserve water for a long time. A. Bitter gourd B. Hyacinth C. Banana or D. Cactus It has long roots so that it can reach the soil under the water. A. Bitter gourd B. Hyacinth C. Banana or D. Cactus And number 4, it has big and wide leaves to trap more energy from the sun. A. Bitter gourd B. Hyacinth C. Banana or D. Cactus Okay, now check your answer. Draw a happy face if the statement is correct and a sad face if it is not. 1. All plants that grow in water are called terrestrial plants. 2. A broad leaves and soft bodies allows them to float in water. 3. A common specialist structures among roses and bougainvilleas are thorns. 4. Stems, roots, and leaves are common parts among aquatic and terrestrial plants. And number 5. Stems of aquatic plants become soft when growing in water. You can now compare your answer. Do you get all the numbers right? Okay, I'm sure you are now ready to answer the post test. Enjoy learning!